lower side of this bracket. A lot of people who played inside of beta that just are kind of struggling to find their new sauce, you know? Yeah, absolutely. I, I think with the characters sort of being changed, there are some safe bets. I think Wonder Woman is always going to be safe. Uh, same with Harley, same with Bugs, but some characters did get quite a significant rework. Um, obviously, we talked about Velma. Morty just not really working that well with the new uh, system changes. Meanwhile, you've got characters like Taz, who I think benefited a lot, actually. Don't know how much we're going to see of him because he does kind of struggle at top-level play. But right now, we got Harley and Wonder Woman again against uh, Hank and Palm. You see Shaggy getting that buff on the side. He's going to threaten that kick. Doesn't let it pop because he knows he can be punished. Finally letting it go with great timing. Now, I really want to see Harley go up there and punish it. Wasn't able to get up there high enough. And those weakened stacks on her made it so that they could get the very first knack out there. Uh, they are going to go ahead and double it up right there. I actually think that's a really good trade. I think that was a really smart trade. And I do appreciate the way that Bugsies is starting to really challenge these installs from Hank here. Now, this is what I mean with sometimes familiarity is just better overall than trying out the newest sauce. You can tell that Bugsy feels comfortable kind of testing out some of the limits here on Harley, not quite hitting every single bat that they want to hit inside that air, but they're not letting Hank install for free, and that's key right now. That's what's going to move them forward inside this match, and that's ultimately why they already have these two ring outs. Challenging every single install, making sure that Joker isn't able to make any extra space for this Shaggy to install is going Going to win them the match it's really harley's mobility that's able to do that you can see the bomb right now the bat bomb on wonder woman's leg trying to find the right time mm. to pop it does do it but unfortunately it is contested with that dash tech and the knock out wonder woman you see the install on shaggy oh and he's able to pop it and it goes way faster you can see it nice so it huge hammer there and now shaggy in a dangerous let's spot let's go bugsy harley let's go baby kill Let's go. Nah, that's how we do it. That's how we do it, Mount Olympus, honey. We out here taking down <laughs> gods. I'm sorry. I am incredibly biased. Production's right going, uh, <laughs> I, I didn't remember you hitting that uh, on your audio test for how loud you're going to go for the mic, Sharpie. But I think you know what it is. Bugsy just got her hype. I mean, that was big. And I'm starting to love this Harley Wonder Woman combination, Sharp. You, you, were, you were hype about it. Talk to me about it. What are you loving? What's working for this team now to tie it up 1-1? The biggest thing, truthfully, is just the armor. Uh, previously inside of the upper side of the bracket, we saw the Gizmo and Wonder Woman. Key Wonder is a fantastic Wonder Woman, but Key Wonder does need an active teammate, and Gizmo is not active. I think Harley being able to swing in there and just kind of, like, move, Key Wonder knows that matchup. He has labbed and played with Bugsy since this game was first created inside of Alpha, so he knows exactly what Bugsy's looking for, and he knows how to capitalize off those situations. So I really think it ultimately comes down to is the fact that Bugsy was a lot more active inside this game was on a character that he knew very very well and ultimately I think it's just a familiarity matchup I think it's just a knowledge check and like a lot of respect for Hank and Palm but Bugsy got top eight at Evo that's who yeah. this team is going up against that's who you're playing against and you know a lot of gumption can't defeat Evo champions yeah, well, Hank and Pop doing a great job of it. I mean, staying close, it's 1-1. One, one. This does determine whether these teams go home or they continue on into the lower side. They've already lost once, but now it is truly to see if they can put their money where their mouth is. It's the go-ahead game. Yeah. Let's see that adaptation that we saw a lot of yesterday. Hank and Palm are definitely the people that can move forward if they adapt the exact same way we saw yesterday. So going into this, we do see Batcave already. Smart pick here, Coney. What do you think? I think it's way smaller, so I feel like it might uh, hurt Shaggy a bit because especially with the cars gone, I'm not sure if that's going to be the right pick. Both of them out. You can see them. Look at how they're patrolling center, staying in yeah. the bat signal, just not really giving up the ground or the sides yeah and they removed that hazard that that car really early which secured them the first two knockout opportunities just right over the right side um you know you're looking at harley right now and what's really crazy is they oh wow okay wow. Wow. good heavens okay well oh bugsy said business as usual honey oh let's go okay all right well you know maybe they, they won the amateur bracket you know now they're in the pro bracket they got the game right you know congrats but Yeesh, what a blow up. <laughs> so, 
I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you. I know I kind of commentator cursed it a little bit. And like, Rain, I know <laughs> you were trying to root for Hank and Palm, but I saw yeah. something in Bugsy's play previously. And something inside of me said, this man is not going down without a fight. And then they picked Bat Cave, the cave man. that literally only one team comes out alive on mm -hmm. all blast zones from.